One of the things that we will be studying is the tedious task of determining the concentration of plastic in the North Pacific Subtropical Gyre. We are primarily going to use three different nets. We're going to use the Neuston net and the Manta net, which are both nets that will tow on the surface of the water. We are also going to be using the Mock Ness, the multiple open closing net and environmental sensing system. Our expedition is slated to also go through the path of tsunami debris. It's traveling from Japan to the U.S. coast. What I'm mainly doing with SCA on this trip is looking at uh, what we're referring to as macro debris, and that's sort of a fancy way of saying pieces of plastic that are bigger than these little tiny fingernail pieces that we're finding a lot in these new stone toes. It can lead to higher invasions of species. So you can imagine if you're some sort of crab, say from Japan, and you end up uh, sort of marooned on a, on a plastic island. If that island stays buoyant and you have enough habitat to sustain yourself for a while, you could potentially end up on a shoreline in the U.S. My research focuses on the effect of plastics on the marine biogeochemical cycle. And I will freeze these and take them back to my lab to analyze their selenium concentrations. I'll be looking at the microbes living on plastic and also the pre-living microbes in the seawater. My name is Zora McGinnis and part of my project is to look at plastics in fish stomachs. And, uh, then we're gonna gun them. I'm gonna pull out all the stomach and we're gonna go through it and see what's in there, whether it be natural food like smaller fish or if we find plastic. We have an Argo float. This is a program that NOAA uh, put together, and basically this is an, a float that we're going to chuck over the side of the ship, and it is kept capable of taking conductivity, temperature, and depth. What we've done is to put our names on the float, kind of like a, a message in a bottle. goes down it'll detect a pressure yeah and then it'll start logging data <laughs>